Hello people, welcome back to Global Happiness Today. We're so excited to have you again. For like two, three days now, Bolag Metinibu, who is one of the presidential aspirants under the All Progressive Congress APC, has been the focus on social media. And reason being that he has made some comments which is really not in sync or which are not in sync with what is really happening, especially in the area. First was in the area of the national identification number. And the next one now we're talking about, you know, tweeting on WhatsApp. Nigerians have come to social media to talk a great deal. Now, yesterday, uh, if you check our feed, you're going to see the first blunder he made in his speech. Now, the second one uh, was when he was addressing youth of the party at a rally which was held in Lagos. And he said something very striking, which a lot of people took note of. And what was that? He said, do you know how many of you are tweeting on WhatsApp right now? It holds a database of 1.6 billion on WhatsApp alone. Hmm. And uh, this controversial comment, which uh, Nigerians have taken note of, has made a lot of people to question his capacity uh, to function effectively, considering the fact that uh, modern technology has taken over everything. Don't forget that Bolang Metinibu is just 70 year old man. You understand? But then, um, what we are seeing thus far compared to what we saw this guy did some days ago when he celebrated his birthday, the former APC, Adam uh, Sushimu, the national chairman, did. We saw him squatting and speaking. Um, with so much coordination. But I noticed that when Balang Metinibu want to talk, uh, some people must be on standby, chipping in words here and there and all of that. But right now, um, Nigerians are talking and people are like saying, make this man no come crown uh, Bubu with PhDO. You understand? <laughs> that like me, that the way he's behaving is as if uh, Bwari is a, a man with PhD from you know Oxford and all of that. Now, what do you do? You think that uh, Nigeria are comfortable with this, or are, are they just trying to mock him? Or do you think that it is ideal to take cognizance of these uh, little little details so that we can know uh, the kind of person to choose? Like in some quarters, some Nigerians, like the Rena Uncle, them they will call him uh, Buhari Pro Max. I don't know what that <laughs> means, <laughs> but um, right now Nigerians are looking at taking notes of the signs if at this stage he's mixing up issues calling tweets for whatsapp mm -hmm. not even twitter you know it gives you an idea of what we are expecting don't forget when it comes to the issue of presidency yes we have the nine to five job but the presidency go beyond nine to five job you know you you, you may be caught upon at so many at any time and you have to be held and healthy held and hearty to be able to you know, respond to that another major thing is the fact that nigeria right now needs someone very firm and young because right now we are so divided that we need someone who's going to be a unifier and who is ready to be at the top of all his games. Yeah. Right now, I don't think, uh, with due respect to him, yes, he has good antecedents, good records uh, in his past. Those were years when he was youthful. Yeah. Not now. And Nigerians are scared of that change that we experienced the first time. That yeah, they, they nobody really wants tell to us. see it again. Exactly. Yeah. So right now, Nigerians are being skeptical. Little things, you have not been even, you have not gotten the whole <laughs> load of Nigerian problem and you are mixing NIN with electricity, you're mixing SIM card with phone, SIM card with electricity, you you're now missing WhatsApp with tweets, you know. <laughs> These are little, little details and Nigeria like, no, please, this is not pro max. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, but you know, some time ago, when far back 2000, I think 14 or 15, when President Muhammad Buhari went to come on board, came on when he wanted to, you know, when the interview on one occasion, I watched it, and the guy said something. When they asked him who was the second guy is going to be with him, he said his name is uh, Yemi Osibande. I don't know <laughs> that, but now he can pronounce the name very well. All right. But I think that of Tinibu, it's very... People are flacking it because of what we have experienced before yeah. now. And somebody gave full details of the mistake he has made thus far. And the guy was talking, he said, before now, it was... Okay, just now, it was tweeting 
on WhatsApp previously. He talked about permanent voters card having an esprit yeah, dead. Yes. And then he talked about to recruit 50 million youths to fight unemployment. Mm-hmm. 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 And some other that there are a lot of abnormalities and we are advising that he stays off, you know. And some people are making fun of me. Someone here says, I will leave Twitter soon. I want to focus on tweeting on What's up? <laughs> it's about time. And I want here says Pantami disconnected phone number from National Electricity Grid. Tinibu, the youths are now tweeting on WhatsApp. Two blunders <laughs> under 48 hours. There is no way you want to package this man. No way. He doesn't have the mental strength, man. Okay. Let's we are we are looking at the, the harsh situation. But now let's look at reality on ground. Yes. You know, it's good to be objective, but it's also good to look at the Nigerian factor. Yes. We cannot rule it out. Exactly. That Tinubu has helped men of timber and, and caliber. And they want to pay Those men, back. yes, they have sworn. It's the about time will tell you, I don't want your money. I am rich. Of course, he very is. Very wealthy. All yes. I want is your vote and your support with your team. Yes. If you begin to look at this political pedigree, you will agree with me. He has men yes. on top of the situation. And guess and what? The corridor of power too. And guess what? Those men also have men, <laughs> which also have other men. men. We also so have that's why. Hey. So you now see the the the, the uh, generation. Yes, he has exactly. Politically. Political so generation. If, exactly. If we are looking at the harsh reality on ground, Tinubu mm. is the first to be reckoned with. Whether he speaks well, whether he's old, whether he's mm. uh, he has um, a speech mannerism or not. The harsh reality is that whether we like it or it can, he can be packaged in a way that whatever we see, we take. So it's not left on Nigerian youth. To yes, decide. that's it, it, what, what you are trying to say now. We need to come together and, as a people and tell forget ourselves about the truth. Set, yes, forget sentiment, sentiment and all of that. Forget the fact that he has helped us. It's that if now is a case of we want to reward you with presidency, presidency. not and that we really need him as president. president. And where we are currently, economically and otherwise. Uh, we need a, a redeemer, someone who will stretch his hand, stretch his mental capacity, stretch everything in him to deliver Nigeria from that dark doom that we have found honestly, ourselves. Honestly. And and I don't see him. I, I, I've I've listened to him talk and all of that. If you, I don't see him if you doing hear that for how us. his supporters go about this, is as if it is beyond politics. Mm. You know, now you now see the situation we find ourselves in. Look at the likes of the legends we have in football. See what they did. The likes of Oko, uh, JJ Okocha and uh, Talibo West. See the way Talibo West was really vibrating that day. The name of prayer. <laughs> prayer. <laughs> Do you understand? Hey, your body will stop um, you. You just imagine. Because at some point in their career, in he, their past, he, he was there. Them. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes so people look behind that to see that like, where, were, where were all the so called Nigerian leaders? Yeah, but this man was there, there for, for me. me. So sometimes emotional sentiment come me. into play. But I, I just pray we should forget about all honestly, of that because honestly. Nigeria has no dive strongly. Somebody, uh, 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 you talked about the character of the supporters, uh, and it's a little man that they think he's the secretary of the Yoruba. Uh, Council of Elders, okay. Day. and he said something very striking. He said, what is happening now between the supporters of uh, Yemi Sinbanjo and that of Tinibu may bring back the story of Operation Wete, that the uh, Yemi Osibanjo and Bolak Tinibu should talk to their supporters, because it's as if this is a do or die affair. Okay. If you if you think that these guys are joking, they are overly serious. That in the southwest, the proofs are already everywhere. That these guys will do everything within their power to ensure that they put their guys as uh, during the direct primaries or indirect primaries, they put their guys as a flag bearer of APC. So, with all of that in mind, what do you think this is pointing Nigerians to? Well, for me, the challenge we always have is that most Nigerians out there, uh, because of the level of poverty, which is deliberate art by these wicked politicians to make Nigerians very poor, so that in days like this, whatever they give to you, you will just think of your stomach Today. infrastructure. Yes. Now, now, Today, now. Yes. forget about the four years. And that's exactly what we have been finding ourselves in for the past 16, 18 years now. If we can go beyond thinking of the now, 
Think of our children. Our children yet years. unborn. Mm. Think about Nigeria as a whole. Then you begin to forget about them now. Forget about, look at what tomorrow will look like and vote. Then not just vote now. Guard your vote. Yes, exactly. Any region. If SARS can happen, any SARS can happen, then you can protect. If um, um, uh, don't know be Lagos can mm-hmm. happen in Edo, where they thought they could rig the election, the youth, the Edo, Edo, Edo protected their, 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 their votes. We can do the same All right. as a general, as a whole. All right, thank you very much. You've heard uh, the suggestion. We love all the aspirants, but I think at this point, Nigerians must be very objective because we're talking about the next four years or even the next eight years. If you have not been touched by this current administration, uh, then you may just vote anyhow. But if you have been touched, then Nigerians should uh, join forces together and let's choose the right person who will lead us to the promised land. That's where we would like to leave it. Go.